Investors, are you paying the right amount of tax to the IRS on this episode of Title Tuesdays? Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. For those of you that saw last week's episode, Jose is back here talking about the investment world. Last week we talked about real estate agents and when to file a limited liability company or a PA professional association in order to handle the income from real estate commissions. This episode, we're talking about investors, and I know that's your cup of tea, so thanks for joining us right, today. Right. So today, we're going to talk to the investors on all three levels. If you're a wholesaler, we're going to cover tax advice for you. If you are a buy, fix, and sell short-term less than 12 months, we're going to cover that as well. And if you're that investor that buys and rents out property and you hold for long-term investment, we're going to cover that as well. So thanks for watching. This may be a little lengthy episode, but we're going to give you the advice you want. So thanks for coming in. Excellent. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about the basic, the wholesaler. The wholesaler that is buying and selling the same day and they're making a fee, whether it's an assignment fee or, or they're buying on a double closing, what can we offer them for a benefits or tips for them uh, when dealing with taxes in the IRS? Yeah, I always tell my clients, when they, they meet that threshold of 30000 or more, you know, it's best to incorporate and have an S-corporation to limit the self-employment tax. Um, when you're wholesaling uh, contracts or, or properties, you're, you're engaged in a, an, an active uh, trade of business. So you're subject to the highest level of income tax, ordinary income tax, and self-employment. So the S-corporation is going to be your best way to go. Highest level. Did you hear that? Do you want to be at the highest level of anything when it comes to paying taxes? No. So you need to be able to structure your business properly. We do these videos to make sure that you, our viewers, are setting yourself up for success. As, as in my disclosure below, I don't give tax advice. I don't give legal advice. I'm not an accountant and I am definitely not an attorney. I'm just here to give you real advice real solutions to make real money. So uh, thanks for that little tip. So if you're wholesaling, you still need to set up a company. If you're doing maybe one deal a year, I wouldn't necessarily do it. But if you want to make this a full-time job, you need to think about incorporating yourself and you're going to call Jose to find out the type of company to set up and all of the other information of how you want to be taxed with the IRS and what you need to do to protect yourself so you pay the right amount of tax, but not necessarily the most amount of tax at the end of the year. So the second one we're going to talk about are, which a lot of our clients do, they're buying, they're getting private loans, maybe buying cash, they're going to buy it, fix it, and then list it on the MLS and sell it. And that's going to be short term, typically less than 12 months, three to six months, sometimes nine months, but for sure it's going to be less than 12 months. So what advice can we give to those investors? Yeah, so the IRS has two ways of treating the short term investors. So if your intent is to uh, flip the property and you're doing this on the regular basis, you're considered a, a real estate investor full-time, even part-time at times, uh, but as you're, as, um, you're continuously doing it, you're considered a dealer and you're, a high, you're again, you're taxed at the highest level, so you want to you wanna do an S-corporation at that point. There are times where the IRS will treat it as short-term short -term capital gains. That's when you're kind of dabbling, you have a full-time job, and you are investing as, an, as a true investor. Just find something to, to sell it within 12 months. That's why I like that language, a property dealer. That's who you call yourself, a property dealer. Yeah, yeah. these are the ones, they, they're making money. A lot of our investors are making a lot of money by fix and selling, but some of them are doing it in their own name. Some are doing it in land trust. They right. don't really understand uh, the benefits of it and, and how to properly protect themselves so they pay the right amount of tax. Yeah. All right, so now we're on to the last part. The last part we're talking about those investors that are going to buy it and they're going to hold it. They're going to rent it. They're going to receive rents. They're going to have expenses paid and they're going to hold it long term. So it could be over 12 months. Right. Some investors hold it for many, many years. So what advice do you have for them? Yeah, that's, that's the best kind, by the way, best kind of investment long term. That's the, the way to build wealth and to not pay income taxes. A lot of times, very little to none. So the landlords who own real estate for many years, they take advantage of what we call depreciation. That's when you depreciate property. 
over 27 and a half years, and at times you can accelerate that depreciation through a cost segregation study. So being that you are a full-time investor, you qualify for the real estate status, real estate professional status, which any loss is created from your rentals. It could be, there's no limit. I mean, 50, you know, 100,000, half a million in losses can be offset by your regular income. So a lot of my landlords' uh, clients don't pay income tax because of this great benefit that the IRS gives you. A lot of people don't know about this, but depreciation is huge. Accelerated depreciation will eat up all your income and you will not pay income taxes. Best way to go. I don't know about you, but I would like to pay the least amount of tax that I have to with making sure I stay within the guidelines. That's why you need an expert tax advisor on your team. It's very important. Just like you have Independence Title as your trusted title company, we're part of your team, you need to make sure you have a tax advisor on there. And what I like to tell people is make sure you're planning today for the problems that are going to come up tomorrow. So if you don't properly plan now, that's the problem. I think they make these mistakes and at the end of the year, they come running to you saying, what do I do? How do I file? And you're like, well, you should have called me when you started this business 12 months ago because I would have given you the the template for how you run your business and what you do and what you pay. I know the other day I was making a move, a financial move in my business and I picked up the phone and, and called someone and said, hey, before I do this, what should I do? Do I pay it through the business? Do I not pay it through the business? How do I structure it? And they said, no, it didn't make sense to pay it through the business. So before I make a bad move, I want to make sure I have my trusted advisor uh, watching out and and knowing what's going on. So, and I think that's Jose's best client from talking to him. So a lot of our investors are watching this. They, they hold long-term rental. So if you need someone that's on your team and you need someone who's going to look out for you in the real estate investment world, Jose is the person you want to call, and we are going to put his information below. You see his name and phone number here flashing up on the screen, and we're going to have it in the comments section. So please reach out to him. Tell him you heard this on on Title Tuesdays, and uh, maybe he'll give you a special discount. So thanks for coming in today. I appreciate you stopping by the office to to film this episode. It's very important for us to educate our clients in, in different aspects, not just title insurance, but the whole world of real estate investing. Absolutely. So, Uh, We appreciate your knowledge and your wisdom, and uh, it's always nice to have special guests on for Title Tuesdays. So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. As always, my name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, signing off, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.